It's the Wilk Report. I'm Michael Wilk, coming to you from Cleveland, Ohio. Got some more news coming out regarding the Disney and Sony drama. Uh, because it, as it turns out, the Disney reportedly made Sony a better offer six months prior to the latest one that caused Sony to walk away. And, uh, I'll go ahead and call up the link in a second, but uh, you know, just to, to let you know where I found this, I... Uh, you know, when I share this, I, I share this to as many venues as I can, so including Twitter, Facebook, you know, my own uh, Facebook page, and uh, also the, to, uh, you know, a couple of uh, affiliated channels like Midnight's Edge Facebook group. Uh, someone got, went ahead, you know, trying to say that Disney was in the right, and uh, then posted a link to this little tidbit. It said, Spider-Man, Disney originally made Sony a more generous offer over six months ago. And this is over at uh, lrmonline.com, published August 23rd by Joseph Jammer Medina. And let me go ahead and quote this. So, uh, you'll forgive the amount of ink that's been spent on this story. When we were first given details, it was reported that Disney had initially offered a 50-50 co-financing deal that Sony walked away from. Uh, it was later reported that they then offered some compromises, which Disney then rejected. Then, even later, it was stated that Disney wanted a 70-30 deal in favor of Sony. Now we're hearing a story that paints a bit of a different picture. Deadline is reporting that Disney asked for a 75-25 deal in favor of Sony originally, and it only would have applied to movies that involved Marvel Studios and Kevin Feige. The re offer reportedly sat for half a year before Disney offered the 50-50 deal, and then Disney called the whole thing off. So, uh, yeah, so, and, and of course, uh, this guy is uh, a lot more forgiving to Disney than he really should be, because, uh, You know, and I can't really describe just how dumb Disney was being here because, and I don't understand how this guy can actually cite with Disney over this, because if you're doing corporate negotiations, the last thing you want to do is make a worse offer when you're trying to buy something. I mean, that's like walking into a jewelry store and there's a $500 watch that you really want, Okay. It, it, it'll get you laid with any woman you want. It'll, you know, it's the ultimate bling. But the guy wants 500 bucks. So you go up to him and you said, man, I really want that watch. I'll give you 400 bucks for it. No, it's 500. Okay. 300. No, it's 500. 200. No, 500. Are you mental? Okay. hundred bucks and it's my final offer. Dude, no, it is 500 bucks. If you want the watch, it is 500 bucks. What do you not understand about that? <laughs> Fine, man. You just lost the best deal you were going to get on that watch ever, and then you walk away. I mean, come on, dude. That That's basically what Disney was doing here. So I don't get how you can actually side with Disney over that. They, I mean, Sony's position is actually pretty understandable from a business standpoint. I mean, morally, ethically, you know, you can debate it, but uh, from a business standpoint, you know, they were happy with the deal that they had with Disney, they wanted to wait and see what would happen with Venom and Into the Spider-Verse, okay? Because they weren't sure if those movies were going to do well. I mean, no one was sure if they were going to do well. I mean, especially with Venom uh, and the, you know, the rumors that were flying with, you know, how difficult Tom Hardy was to work with and, you know, all this crap. But, uh, you know, so Sony needed to wait and see, okay? And, you know, whether Disney would keep the rights to... Uh, well, they don't actually have the rights to Spider-Man. That's still with Sony. But, you know, whether Sony would continue to lease the rights to to make Spider-Man movies to Marvel Studios, uh, that was always, you know, really dependent on how well Venom and Into the Spider-Verse did. Because if they do well, you know, that shows that, yeah, you can actually learn from your mistakes and make a, uh, a movie that's going to make a profit at the box office. So, yeah, I, I can't really blame Sony for holding out and saying, okay, let's see how these two do, and then we can go back and talk to Disney. Because if they had flopped, you know, like the Alex Klutzman run reboot that uh, Sony had done in the 2010s, then, uh, you know, it would have 
put Sony in a much weaker position, and they probably would have said, you know, yes to Disney's offer uh, initially, uh, reluctantly. But yeah, they they probably would have been in a, a position where they couldn't really say no. But Venom and Into the Spider Verse did quite well, and that showed Sony that yeah, they could make a movie that would actually be decent. So. Uh, and actually do, you know, a, a pretty good profit. Certainly much better than the crap Alex Klutzman had shat out. So, yeah, I mean, I can't really blame Sony for doing this. Disney, on the other hand, decided, well, our movies did so well, and, you know, we're, we're going to go ahead and make you an offer. Okay, you don't like that? Well, we'll give you a worse offer because we're Disney, and fuck you. It's like, no, fuck you, mouse. So, I mean... I, honestly, I, I don't see how you can really defend Disney over this. I mean, it seems like that uh, because a, any negotiations, uh, you know, basic negotiations, you, I mean, you start off asking for more than what you think you're going to get and then proceed to negotiate down until you get what you actually want. That's how you negotiate something. But what Disney was doing was they were offering more to Sony initially in order to get them, you know, to actually uh, do a, a deal that would let them continue to make Spider-Man movies. And when they got rejected, then Disney decided, well, we're just going to go ahead and give you less because, yeah, fuck you. And it's like, no, 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 that's not how this works, okay? You were never, I mean, Disney was never in a position to, to, to go ahead and... Uh, make such imperious demands. You know, I mean, they don't own Spider-Man on on the big screen, okay? They were only renting him. And when you're trying to ne negotiate something like this, y you don't go ahead and take this kind of attitude like you already own the property. No, you don't. You know, and you're not going to... I mean, because, uh, you know, that they could be like this with Fox because... Rupert Murdoch is getting old and he doesn't really give a shit so much about the entertainment side of his business, only the uh, far-right propaganda wing of his business. So, you know, I mean, no, it, it was easy to go ahead and, you know, play ball with Fox because, you know, and of course, you know, pretending to fire uh, uh, James Gunn over in his Twitter comments, even though we apologized for them years ago, uh, because they wanted to salvage the Fox deal. So I don't know why they couldn't do something similar with the uh, with Sony and, you know, just, you know, make some kind of concessions that Sony would accept and go along until they could, you know, negotiate something that would work out for everyone. But no, they, they decided, oh, well, uh, we're going to act like we already own the rights and, you know, here's what you're going to get. Oh, you don't like that? Well, here's something less. Well, no, sorry. That is just dumb. Uh, I, I, and I just can continue to be baffled by, by this. I mean, you know, a lot of, like I said, a lot of people are bitching at Sony. Um, you know, I, I don't necessarily care for Sony myself, especially after they, uh, screwed up Ghostbusters so badly in 2016. But, you know, just from a pure business standpoint, uh, you, you really cannot blame the company for uh, not wanting to, you know, practically give away uh, their, their hottest property right now. Because that's essentially what Disney was demanding. Because, I mean, yeah, 50-50 cost sharing, revenue sharing might look good on paper if you don't understand how the movie business actually works. But if you do, uh, th then it's kind of easy to kind of say, yeah, Sony is a little bit more in the right than Disney is because, you know, again, you know, what what is Sony really getting out of it? They lose creative control over how Spider-Man turns out on the big screen where they had that under the previous deal. Uh, yeah, they might, uh, they might not have to put up quite as much money to produce the movies, but they're sacrificing more box office profit. Under the previous deal that they had, Disney was only getting 5% of the box office gross, and they were, they had a lock on the merchandising. So in that case, you know, you're, you're basically saying, okay, well, we want to make you the same deal, but 
you know, in this case, we want 50% of the box office gross. And in return, we'll go ahead and, you know, go half on you for production costs. Well, I mean, you're, you've been given an offer like that after a better one. And, you know, what would you do? It's like, well, sorry, what, what, what's that really get us? Nothing. The offer you gave us before was more generous and we turned it down. Why would we accept something else that gives us a lot less? It's just stupid. I don't I don't understand how some people can side with Disney over this. It, to, to me, this is something that uh, shows Disney was just being so... Uh, they were so full of hubris that it, it just boggles the mind. So, uh, you know, that's my opinion. Uh, what do you think? I want to hear from you. Drop your comments down below. If you like what you've heard and you want to hear more, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to receive notifications whenever we upload new content. And if you want to help support the channel, keep the lights on, help us bring you more content, head over to our Patreon or subscribe star page. We can't do this without you. Until next time, this is Michael Wilk for The Wilk Report saying take care, good night, I'm out.